Welcome back, everyone. Well, every once in a while, something comes across my desk. It just really catches my attention. I mean, let's face it. That's one thing we all have in common is we go through life and things go well at times and things don't go so well. How do we handle it? Who do we talk to about it? How do we relate it to other people? And every once in a while, one of us writes a book about it. And it doesn't need to be earth-shattering, except for the fact that the whole thing is probably earth-shattering. And joining me today is an author. This is Jesse Braverman. Welcome, Jess. Hello. How I don't are get you? to say welcome, Jesse, to too many people, by the way. Neither do I. <laughs> yeah, no. um, and Jess wrote a book called The Comeback Coach. And we invited him on because when we were looking through it, it just really just, there's so many aspects about what he wrote about that we all face. I wanted him to come on, introduce him to you, and have him talk a bit about it. Um, the name of the book is Come Back Coach. Why, what's behind the title? Well, uh, I went through a difficult time about 17 years ago uh, in my coaching career, mm -hmm. and uh, I lost my position as the baseball coach at, at Bethlehem High School. And that was a very difficult time for me, and uh, I had to draw on all my resilience and perseverance to uh, move uh, forward from that. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it about baseball that you love so much? Well, uh, I grew up with the sport. Uh, I've always felt that baseball is a microcosm of life. Oh, uh, interesting. It's, uh, it's challenging. Um, it's difficult. Uh, it's uh, something that you do with other people, and it develops great lifelong relationships with them. Mm -hmm. And um, it's fun. <laughs> now, you've also spent a better part of 40 years of your life teaching. Yes. And also, what you teach is very special and also related to this, isn't it? Yeah. You're a special ed teacher. That's correct, yes. Got it. Now, where are the correlations? Between athletics and coaching? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, 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 every, every coach is a teacher. Mm. So yes. you really are both fulfilling both roles as a coach. Uh, and you're working with people. Uh, and you're working with people who are looking to you to provide them with support and guidance. Uh, so it's, it, is a, it is a sacred responsibility. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, even though some people feel that sports are a secondary thing, uh, most people are in sports because they want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, most people are in school because they have to be. Yeah, right, <laughs> got it, sure. So when you have that intrinsic motivation, I think that gives the person uh, working with people who have that sort of motivation, that gives them a unique opportunity to uh, perhaps have a positive impact. Now, speaking of positive impact, when I asked Jess about why he wrote the book, he said it was really to acknowledge the people who were influential in your life. Yes. And, of course, that has to do with intimate relationships, friendships, mentoring, all of that, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. The people that I uh, wanted to acknowledge uh, were, first and foremost, my, my parents and my brother, but there was also my childhood baseball coach who throughout my life has been my inspiration mm -hmm. and my mentor. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my co-pilot in life, my wife. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, um, you know, being part of a team, you know, especially baseball, right? There is something about the game of baseball that separates it from all other sports. Um, you must cross over a lot. Do you take the coaching into the classroom and the classroom into coaching? Oh, definitely. The interrelationships uh, uh, are part of both activities. Mm -hmm. I always like to say that uh, baseball is the only team sport that doesn't have a clock. Mm -hmm. So there is no avoiding the interaction between the people. Mm -hmm. uh, the pitcher has to get the batter out to end the game. Mm -hmm. They can't run out the clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're teaching, you, you have to uh, interact with those uh, students and try to come up with a positive result. Uh, uh, and really, the, those relationships can be like baseball. They can be timeless. Mm -hmm. Now, considering a lot of us get tough breaks in life, I, all of us do, at one point or another. We're faced with something that we don't know what's on the other side. What kind of advice do you have? 
Well, uh, you know, I can only draw on my own experience, but I'm sure many people will be able to identify with my experience because it is, mm -hmm. like you said, something that many of us have in common. I think you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that what you're doing is the right thing, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you have to persevere uh, through difficult times and stay the course. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you do, the most important person you really have to satisfy is yourself. Yeah, right, when you look in the mirror. That you look in the mirror, that you, at least you can know you did the right thing. There was one point in the book where I was asked a question about what I went through, and somebody had asked me why I didn't choose a different path, an easier path. Mm -hmm. And I, my answer was, I'd rather lose the right way mm -hmm. than win the wrong way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> is there a common thread? With I just think in everything that we're talking about here. Well, I, I do. I do believe there's a common thread. Uh, you know, I believe that uh, unlike in today's world too often where the ends justify the means, mm -hmm. I think it's more important uh, that what you, you know, what you do is something you can actually have some pride in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recall a story once where uh, a journalist went, was sent to India, an American journalist, to interview Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. And he asked him, Gandhi, millions of people follow you, hundreds mm -hmm. of millions. What is your message? Mm -hmm. And Gandhi simply said, my life is my message. Yeah, right. Make and it count. That's right. Make it count. That's oh, right. Jess, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Uh, the name of the book is Comeback Coach. Now, uh, Jess is going to be at Northshire Books in Saratoga this Saturday at 7 p.m. Talk about the book, his life experiences, and sign a few copies. These are wonderful events at Northshire, as you know. Uh, this Saturday, 7 o'clock, Jesse Braverman will be there with his book, Come Back Coach. And again, I just want to end with the way I kind of started. It's one thing if you want to write a, a, a book about Star Wars and something like <laughs> that. How about writing a book about life? Right? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and, you know, thank you I, for doing that. Th and thank you for, for letting me come here and share it. <laughs> oh, it's good. Good. Just a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>